Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Lambert and I've got a new family math activity for you today. Um, instead of a game, today it's more of a building activity. Um, so if you go through your pantry and you happen to find some marshmallows, um, you're ready to go. Um, so this is marshmallow and toothpick geometry. Now, I actually didn't have any marshmallows, um, which is what I'd normally use in my classroom, but I found some raisins and um, they worked pretty well. You're also going to need um, some toothpicks and the marshmallows or raisins can get a little sticky or you can use play-doh too that would work um, But so you want to have some sort of covered surface um, So either putting paper down or using paper plates or something like that Okay, so let's get started um, so as you've probably figured out you're going to be using the toothpicks um, and the marshmallows to build different shapes um, so instead of walking you through everything in the video today, if you check out the description um, at the bottom of this video, I have um, a list of different challenges for your child um, to build, and I've divided it into different levels. So there's level one, level two, level three, and of course they get progressively harder. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit um, about the levels and some questions that you can ask your kids as they're building. So in level one, you're gonna focus on um, two-dimensional shapes. Um, so this is great for the lower grades um, or for kids just getting started. Um, so you can either ask your child to, um, to use the toothpicks to build um, a specific shape. So you can say, um, build a triangle. Or you can have a conversation about um, corners and sides, and you can ask them to build things like build me a shape with three sides, or build me a shape with four corners, um, and see what they come up with. Some of these challenges might have more than one right answer. If you ask them to build something with four sides, they could build you a square, but they could also build you a trapezoid or a rhombus maybe. So a great way to kind of see um, what they come up with. In level two, you're gonna start building some three-dimensional shapes. So um, you can ask them to build a, whoops, my raisins are not as sticky as I thought they were. Um, you can ask them to build a triangular py pyramid. With 3D shapes, now you can talk about vertices, you can talk about edges, and you can talk about faces. Um, so you can have your child count the number of faces um, or edges, right? You can ask them what in um, what in their building represents a vertice, right? Is it the toothpick or is it the raisin? Um, and just like with the two-dimensional shapes, you can give them a challenge to build something that has six faces, for example. What kind of shape do they come up with? Um, and then in level three, it gets even more challenging. Um, I haven't built any of those here today because um, they do require a lot of toothpicks and a lot of marshmallows. So if you're short on any of those, level three might not be the best. Um, but you can have your kid build something like a dodecahedron, right? Maybe they don't even know what that is. Um, so have them Google it, look it up. Um, see what it looks like first and challenge them. Um, they do end up looking really cool, so if you do have the materials for it, I would definitely suggest it. So I hope you enjoy this one, um, and get creative with it. Maybe let your kids build other things with toothpicks and marshmallows. Um, and you already have a built-in snack if their hands aren't super dirty. Okay? Enjoy building. I'll see you next time.